boys and girls, thanks for clicking on this video. Today, we're going to be talking about demons, ghosts, and aliens. Now, this is a very controversial topic most of the time, and I'm going to be splitting this up into three different parts. Uh, today's episode for Not So Talks is going to be focused on talking about demons. <coughs> I'm going to I'm going to share my opinion and my uh, experiences. Now, I want to talk about calling the cell phone number plus one six 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 six. Now, I've never called this number mainly because I'm a scared baby back bish. But <laughs> even if I did, I would probably get a friend to be with me because I'm alone right now. Uh, I'm the only one awake. My mom isn't home because she's going to back to back to school at some time as well. My sister, my sister is asleep, and uh, I swear to God, I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. I'm not even kidding, dude. Uh, I've been scared like all morning. Like I've just been sitting at the computer. Like there's there's a demon behind me, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Maybe. So um, yeah. Uh, I've contemplated whether or not I should call this number, six 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 six. I probably added on an extra six right there, but um, I researched the subject, and uh, I've heard some stories. Uh, one apparently uh, sometimes if a loved one commits suicide, that's a very uh, uh, sensitive topic to talk about suicide. Uh, so if you're sh triggered by that kind of stuff, I, I sor I'm i sorry, I sh probably should have put a warning at the beginning. <clears throat> but, um, people say that when a loved one commits suicide, they get a call from this number, the, uh, sixes. And, uh, some people have even said that they heard their loved ones, their dead loved ones, talking to them through the phone. And, uh course <laughs> I'm me I believe everything I believe it and I know some hater out there is gonna call me insane for saying that but um I believe a lot of things uh, I believe the Mandela effect which I might talk about that in a future episode I swear to God, I keep on seeing something in the corner of my eye and uh, <laughs> actually before making this video I got very startled and I'm going to tell you that. So I own three cats. And uh as most of you know, seeing a fully black cat is usually bad luck. Well I own a black cat. And uh, I was researching the number six 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 and uh my leg was like hanging off of my chair, like on the side. And my black cat rubbed against me and my heart jumped into my throat. I thought he was a demon. <laughs> Uh, I was like, Toby, buddy, you can't do that when I'm researching Satan. But, um, <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I researched it, and, uh, now I'm gonna share my experiences with demons. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but, uh, if any of you watch Shane Dawson, uh, you know that he has experiences with demons, ghosts, blah, blah, blah. And he knows what it feels like to have a demon, like, on you, or, like, a ghost on you. Now, I know for a fact that my house is haunted. I know it. My mom feels it. She's been feeling it for years. I feel it. Uh, I feel like it's my room that's mostly haunted. Uh, I've been sitting in FaceTime calls with my friends, and they say that they've seen things move behind me. I've had ghost radar open, and that's real. Like, I've seen many, many reports of weird crap happening with that app, Ghost Radar. You should definitely download it if you think your house is haunted. Open it up. Use it. But, uh, I was sitting in a FaceTime call with my friend John, and we were using Ghost Radar at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning, I swear. And it was so late, we were getting tired, and I was so scared. Uh, it said a few words that really got me shook up. Uh, I don't exactly remember what the words were, but, uh, 
I know it was definitely something creepy, and it got me concerned. Now, uh, I want to uh, talk about the what it feels like to have a ghost like on you, like a demon clawing at your face. You can't see it, but you know it's there. I was laying in my bed one morning. This was like I think two days ago. Maybe it was yesterday. Um, I was just laying in my bed. I was like, well, it's kind of early. I should probably try to fall asleep. Um, and then I felt this extreme weight on my shoulder, and it felt like somebody was pushing as hard as they could down on my shoulder. It felt like there was like a brick on my shoulder. It was heavy. I, I, I was like, what's happening? There's a ghost on me right now. And I was just so shocked, and I was like, I was like, paralyzed dude I, like I was so sh- I was so shocked that I didn't even want to move uh, I was like okay man up put your hand on your shoulder and I did it okay that's a dog barking <laughs> that, that got my skip right there but uh, I put my hand on my shoulder there was nothing there I was I was actually contemplating putting my hand on my shoulder I was like what if I touch a demon what if I aggravate the ghost? But I, I just kind of manned up and did it, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, that was really freaky, and this doesn't happen to me often, like, that was actually the first time that happened to me, and, uh, yeah, that was really freaky, that got me very scared, and, uh, I, I, I didn't like it at all, I did not like the feeling of having that on me, and, uh, again, talking about I'm gonna switch back over to the the phone number six 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 blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> but um, I have my phone next to me. I'm not saying that I'm gonna call it. Maybe if I get a friend over with me, I'll call it on my phone, and maybe I'll be like, uh, not so talk special edition, um, episode <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe someday I'll do it. And, uh, people also say that there's a, G- that Jesus' phone number exists, and that number will be 888-888-8888. Now, I w- when I first saw this, I was like, wouldn't it be 7, though? Because, you know, I've always been told that 7 is God's number, or 777, or 777, but I saw that phone number, and I was like, if this, if this has to be fake, it's 888, right? Well, I watch some videos of people calling Jesus. No, I, I, I didn't think that was real, but uh, it sounded like I, I had watched a video of a kid calling Satan before, and it sounded just like Satan. Like, it could have been faked though. It really could have been faked, but <sighs> I believe everything. <laughs> but uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Not So Talks. Excuse me. And, uh, I was actually just walking around the first story of my house, just making sure there was no demons. Because <laughs> I was actually that scared and shook. But, um, yeah, I'll be in the next video. <sighs> God, I just got, like, a burp, but I didn't burp. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about ghosts. Then in the one after that, we'll be talking about aliens, area of one breaking into area 51 to catch a Mewtwo <laughs> and Pokemon Go even though those they, they don't even exist Mewtwo's not yet but uh, maybe uh, make a, a calm uh, uh, maybe I'll make a less creepy video in the future you know just like talking about my experience in Pokemon Go or something just something a little more positive and not as creepy because I'm whew. That was the glare on a car. I thought that was like a spirit coming at me. I'm just like, what the heck? Uh, yeah, but I've been seeing things out of the corner of my eye all day. I'm going to end the episode off. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for clicking on this video and taking the time to watch it. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>